Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. Boy, do I have an exciting episode for you today. You know that I love my workflow efficiency tricks, and whenever I discover a new hack in Studio One, that totally makes my day. And today is such a day. I went through the keyboard shortcuts once again, and I found that we have a couple of track visibility options now that came within the version 5 lifecycle that are simply astonishing in their capabilities. If you struggle a little bit with zooming or navigation, especially in larger song sessions, then you have to check this out. It was totally mind-blowing to me. I hope you like it too. Now, there's been a bunch of track view shortcuts added in version 5 and 5.1 and so forth, and I was well aware of these, but three in particular have really caught my attention. And to discover them together, we go to Studio One Keyboard Shortcuts, and you find the first two by searching Show Tracks. Here we want to look at show tracks with events under cursor and show tracks with events. An honorary mention is probably also show tracks with events in loop range. What this does is amazing. You will only get to see the tracks that have events in the section that you're currently working on. I mean, all the other ones are basically clutter, if you think about it, that are just obstructing your view and keep you from you know, expanding the track heights to a proper level, especially on smaller screens, you know, notebooks and things like that. So for me, it made perfect sense to assign this to one of the most easily accessible keys on my keyboard here. In my case, it was this one right here. And um, if you have a similar key available still, or even if you have to reassign one, it's probably worth it because I believe that the more you need a keyboard shortcut, the easier it has to be to trigger. No double modifier combos like Command, Shift, Control to trigger something that you need all the time. Stuff like that deserves the easiest keybind available. Now, with that little rent out of the way, let's go ahead and do just that. Let's assign show tracks with events on the cursor. And the other ones are pretty much doing the same thing. This is just not location based and this is for the loop range. But let's go ahead with this one. This is really what I want to show you today. Show tracks with events on the cursor and click here to assign that to any key of our choice. I go for this one, as I said before, hit assign. And this is especially powerful in combination with undo visibility change. Now that is really a game changer. That command has been missing for the longest time. What this does is it will set the track view back to your original state before you trigger that command. So this one we probably want to assign to shift together with the same key. And that's always something that's very easy to memorize. I know that a lot of Studio One users are kind of hesitant to learn new keyboard bindings, but I find if you make them kind of ergonomically sound and logical, then you can really memorize them quicker. For example, the trigger here would be simply this key. And then if I want to do the opposite, I just hit shift at the same time. So that just reverts that visibility change to the previous setting. And we're going to see that in action in just a moment. All right. So I'm so excited to show you this. Hit assign and OK. And now I have a large song production here. I can go to the intro section, hit my brand new hotkey right here. And bam, now I only see this one track because that's the only one playing in this intro section. Now I could even go ahead and make the tracks nice and large. And once I'm done with this, I can just hit the opposite key bind, which is uh, undo visibility change, shift. And now I'm back. Now I can go to the verse section, hit that key, and I only see the ones with actual events in that section. What's also amazing is that this keyboard shortcut, show tracks with events on the cursor, can be triggered multiple times in succession. And this means that it always updates to the play at cursor position. You don't have to undo every time, which is just a great time saver. So yeah, I absolutely love this. I immediately integrated this into my workflow. I hope you will do so as well. Keep in mind that you can, of course, also combine this with macros, makes that even more powerful. So you could easily create a keyboard shortcut that would put the loop range like so, then put everything in perfect horizontal focus and then only show the tracks that you're currently working on. If you want to do something like that, you just go to Studio One Macro Organizer, you click on New, and then you can just build your own sequence of keyboard shortcuts that you can then trigger from just one keyboard shortcut. That's one of the most powerful features of Studio One available, hands down. So we would probably uh, set loop selection. That would be the first one. And then what you'd want to do is put that in horizontal focus. And then you probably also want to expand the track height a little bit, maybe like so. And then we can use 
show trucks with events in loop range. So that would be just a macro that I came up with. Let's call that uh, show tracks in loop range and zoom in. Okay. And now when we go to the keyboard shortcuts, we're going to find that exact keyboard shortcut that we just made from scratch. It's right here. And maybe let's assign that to this keyboard shortcut that is still available. There's not many on my keyboard that are still free. And um, now what would happen is I go to the hook section, for instance, trigger a brand new macro, and now I only see the events with actual content in the section, plus everything is nicely put in horizontal focus. This is just an example. You can really explore this to your liking and the world is your oyster with these new keyboard shortcuts. Thank you for watching.